Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once again with another X-Men Evolution reaction for you guys. This is a Season 3, Episode 8, Self-Possessed. Interesting title. Now, I'm assuming someone gets possessed. Maybe? Maybe it's a trick. Who knows? Because sometimes the titles of these episodes give it away in terms of what the episode's going to be about, but sometimes not so much. So, we'll see what happens here. Now, last week's episode, very interesting. Toad went full force in trying to basically win Wanda over, even went to freaking Kurt's you know, girlfriend's house after he's meeting the parents for the first time, meeting her parents for the first time, he goes and steals the watch. And then now, him and his girlfriend, Kurt's and his girlfriend, they have to basically hide their relationship because her parents don't approve of him being a mutant and all that. Um, now, Wanda gets her mind wiped. I still think there's something up with that. I, I, I don't believe it's completely gone. I think something's going to trigger her mind because she's really, she, like, we, we've seen how powerful she is in the show, even though it's been a, a little bit, but we've seen... A lot of power from her when she does show off how strong she is so i think something's going to happen to where she's going to remember everything she's going to remember the truth of what really happened so we'll see what happens there but anyways so let's dive into now guys let's check it out see what they do with this episode um i'm really enjoying the show i really am and we just got the of course x-men 97 trailer as i'm recording this video so it makes me kind of wish man i wish x-men evolution would probably continue even though i haven't seen the ending so i don't know how it ends but I wish there was more, like, you know, because I, I want more. I always want more and more and more. That's just what I am. But anyways, guys, let's dive in. Let's check out the episode. Hmm. Want a rematch tomorrow the way she looked at him just now. Mm. Oh, sorry. That's the concert. We'll play next week, then? Sure. Sure. Next week. What, what was that? That's a mistake. I yep. always been clear that she will somehow play a key role in our future. She may not live long enough to fulfill it. What? <sighs> What's with the visions? Oh. Well, <laughs> come on, Jean's gonna give us a ride to school in her new SUV. Something tells me she's not gonna give them a ride. Oh, she is. Okay, never mind. Now that you've got wheels, how about carpooling to the concert tonight? It's some kind of. Whoa. It's a date. Of course it is. It's a date. Who's going out? Jean and Scott. He can just do that. Can That's great. Oh. No way. Uh, uh, Rogue. Whoa. <laughs> there you are. Rogue, I am so sorry I wasn't here for you. That's why Mystique it's is back because of I what she was told. Powers are starting to go haywire right now. So, whoa, what is going on? Were those your powers? No. no. Yes, I mean, if I were to touch you right now, I'd probably put you. Don't touch her. Oh, I mean, she's already touched Mystique before. Memories, everything about you. How about we go laugh at the geeks at the concert tonight, huh? Come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> Risty, I kind of miss having you around. They're definitely not playing with. Yeah, they're just moving all over. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that they went together. That's good. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Get back at her. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 This is some weird animation on the musicians, but. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, it's not good. This is not good. Okay, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be really bad. This is gonna be really bad. Oh shit. She doesn't know it's a mistake. She's hurt. Oh, oh, that was weird. I'm speechless right now. I am just. Oh my god. Thank you for saving him. Okay. It, I mean, Mystique has to talk to them to let them know. What? They ain't gonna do nothing. <laughs> oh shit. You gotta tell them. Oh my god, really? Holy shit. Hello. Enjoy your 
That was bad. That's so bad, dude. Let's do this again sometime. Shit. Oh my god, she can turn into anybody. This is so bad. Go to that kid now. This is... Wow, I did not expect this to be the episode, like, what it's about. But I only posed as your friend so I could be near you. Liar! She can fight herself! Adopted you when you were four. Now there is a connection. Memories. Finally, after all this time, Man, she is so like, like obviously she's losing it, but she has all these abilities and can transform and all this. Shit. This is so bad because it's not Saber Tooth. No. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I'm glad they know now. Come on. Are you in here? Oh shit. Better help yourself. She's shape shifting. She mm -hmm. can be anybody. Yeah, be careful. Help me. She needs help. So I don't know what you're gonna do. No oh shit. Okay. She's stormed now. It's like every person she's ever absorbed is fighting for yep. Exactly. This is insane! Oh my god! What the- okay. Dude, this is- I- this is- oh my god, this is so much. It's not gonna work. She can fight back. Yep, she can fight back. Oh shit. It doesn't matter, she has your powers too. What's he gonna do? You gotta, oh my god, duplicate. Oh shit. How do you, my god, there's five of them now. Stand up. You gotta fight it. Logan, there's too many of them. Help me. We can wipe out those personalities. Come on. Together, okay. One by one. This is crazy. Wow. She's gonna be okay, right, Charles? Uh. Charles? Don't know. I. That was chaos. And then. She... I'm surprised she didn't intervene in all this. And her toughest challenge still awaits her. Coming to terms with who Misty really was, and who Mystique really is. Getting over this ain't gonna be easy. Something about betrayal. Is Rogue back in our future? She is. An ancient mutant will rise to once again walk the earth. Your face, <gasps> both yours and Rogue's. This is easily one of the best episodes of X-Men Evolution. Oh my god, I cannot believe all the things they did in this episode. Oh, wow. Okay, so I think the reason why, to me, it's one of the best episodes so far in terms of X-Men Evolution is because I like Rogue, I like her character, and I like her arc in Season 1, and they finally answered the question of her and Mystique's relationship, or what, what the thing they were hinting at within her introduction. Now we know, Mystique adopted her, and then at some point she went to that other woman who was there kind of giving the visions and everything, and she was the one who kind of said... Something's going on with Rogue, and then that the future involving you and her is kind of clouded. I don't, like, she may not survive to be in whatever's happening. Of course, we find out at the end of the episode, it's tying into Apocalypse. <laughs> See, even just more cool shit. Okay, so, there's, there's a lot to, to cover here. So, the main thing is that we got to see Rogue literally be probably the most powerful mutant we've ever seen at this point. Even more, even more powerful than I think Wanda because of the fact that she had all of these abilities and then she was also transforming into them too because of like being in contact for so long with Mystique that she was then turning into Mystique at points and then was turning into Risty, turning into all these different characters and it's like it was so overwhelming obviously it's getting so much it's it's causing so much chaos and, and she was probably mentally and physically 
being drained because of all of these different personalities trying to fight her that it probably would have ended up killing her. I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming that's probably what it would have led to because she kept changing constantly and using powers. Eventually, something was probably going to give and she probably wouldn't, sur wouldn't have survived it. So thankfully, Professor X, and I'm assuming that's my assumption was before it actually happened that that was going to be the case here in terms of what could actually stop it because they had to be taken out. All of those different like powers and personalities and everything within her that was basically just being jumbled within her all this time had to get out. Now, the question is, I don't know where this like goes in terms of her future in the show because the fact that at some point she's going to have to take people's abilities again. So is it going to be a cleansing where every time she uses someone's ability, she has to go to Professor X like in terms of what they're doing within the show here? Or is it going to be where she can actually control those personalities to where it doesn't overwhelm her like this time? Because before she joined the X-Men, or even before she actually became a part of the show, was of course part of the Brotherhood, but not really, and then joining the X-Men, she didn't really use her power. Like She really didn't use her powers. Like She kept away from everybody, right? So then she was being overwhelmed over these last little bit in terms of being a part of the X-Men and everything, absorbing all these powers, including Juggernaut, Sabretooth, you know, all the, all the different X-Men, you know, and even Mystique and everything, like, there was so much going on that her, like, her mental capacity, maybe her physical capacity as well, was being so overwhelmed with all of that, pretty much at once, because she really wasn't trained on how to properly handle when you absorb someone's abilities or their, you know, the memories and all that kind of stuff, so it was, like, really building up, and I think they did a really good job, because over time we've been seeing all this, but didn't really think the ramifications of what it really could be, and they really handled it well in this episode, and the fact is, too, Risty Return aka uh, Mystique and then there's a the whole concert thing and that's kind of what the end of it end all be all and it was really kind of stemming also in the fact that Scott and Jean were at this concert together and the fact that you know they're a couple in a sense they're going on a date I, I think they are dating but they're kind of playing coy about it or whatever but they really handled it well in terms of those building blocks because see they even teased again in this episode or kind of teased but they really implied heavily rogue has feelings for scott she's had for a long time feelings for scott so kind of the building blocks and then of course all these powers all these abilities and then you know touching mystique and like basically stuck on her for quite a while and the whole like you know the power stuff and then boom saber tooth juggernaut all this unfolds even magneto at one point it was really well done and i think the action sequence with everybody versus her was so well done. I mean, there's so much to cover there, but in a sense, just a, a basic generalization, that whole action sequence between them when they realized at when, when they didn't know that it was rogue at first. And when they found it, it was rogue. So well done. It was so good. It was a lot of action and a lot of like in like high stakes with it too. I didn't think anybody was going to die, but literally she was so powerful and constantly shifting powers and using Cyclops heat vision or his like laser vision while also using Storm's abilities and everything, and then then, then using the BAMF <laughs> with Nightcrawler, she was basically unstoppable, in a sense. But Wolverine had to take the, the leap and just go after her and had to basically try to talk some sense into her because she was being overwhelmed. And then when she duplicated herself, oh my god. <laughs> so many cool things in the action sequence. It was so well done, but I'm glad that Wolverine was the one who was talking to her because they've had some actual communication and dialogue and kind of you know i wouldn't say bonding necessarily but like they've had screen time together before so it wasn't just random that he was the one who was being there for her towards kind of the conclusion of the whole entire giant action set piece within the episode and basically helping her get to the point where then professor x charles can come up and really help in a sense and the fact that he was unaware what was going to happen like if she's really going to be okay he he's never had to do this before <laughs> so it really was something new um really well done really good episode now the one thing is i'm surprised mystique didn't like get in, get involved in terms of like actually helping stop rogue um but i guess maybe she just didn't want to get in the way or whatever or i would say get in the way maybe not get hurt or whatever because more like a rogue might have killed her i don't know about that but you get what i'm saying like surprised but yeah so this was really well done um I, I, I'm really curious about where Rogue goes from here. I really am. Um, and the fact is, too, that her and Mystique's like future is tied to Apocalypse. Because we haven't heard any tease of Apocalypse in a while. It's been a bit. So the fact is we're getting another tease of that is definitely interesting. Uh, and they didn't mention the name, but they mentioned an ancient mutant is going to rise again. I wonder what their connection is. I don't know. But the fact that they mentioned that means it's probably going to be something very important. And I really hope we get to like at least 
some sort of understanding of what it means. Like, why exactly are they connected to him exactly? I don't know. But I really hope we get to uh, see that because I don't know. Because I don't know. I don't know how far the show goes in terms of actually covering that stuff. Because you know, I don't know. I don't want no spoilers. But damn, this was good. <laughs> just because to me, you just never really know when you're watching a show for the first time how impactful an episode's going to be. And seeing a tile like self possessed. I mean, I thought about someone getting possessed, but I didn't realize like this was about Rogue and all the you know personalities and the powers and everything. I just didn't realize that's where they were going and how far they went with it too. Very cool, very good, and it shows how great the show is in terms of its characters and storylines and just building blocks of building up storylines because this would not have worked in my opinion as well if they did this in season two. We had to build up more over time, and the fact is this was happening after the revel the, the reveal, the revelization that mutants are a thing even makes it more impactful as well because we had all that craziness going on in the opening of season three and then we got to this part now where it's like it was really coming to a head for rogue and it's it's been crazy it really has been so what you guys think of the episode i'm curious to know your thoughts guys whatever thoughts you have guys about the episode let me know your thoughts in the comments below i'm curious to know if you guys think it's one of the best episodes like i do or maybe you don't but i'm curious to know regardless because i really enjoyed this episode wow so good it was so great i don't know how i'm gonna edit it it's gonna be hard to edit this one i will say that for sure hope you guys for the video talk to you soon peace out